Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to your reading. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, please spare for Virgo. What message for Virgo? The angel of the ocean healing. This is like the temperance card in the um, Rider Waite tarot. Okay, so someone here needs some healing, wants to heal from toxicity, okay, something that is not good for them. They might want to heal uh, a relationship as well, a connection, so it could be you, it could be your person. It could be there with a Sagittarius. Why is the angel of the ocean here? Why is the angel of the ocean? The Four of Cups, okay, boredom, sadness. So this could be you, could be your person, but someone here um, is missing you, definitely, okay? Thinking about you, thinking about some sort of rejection in the past. They could have rejected you, you could have rejected them. They are not able to have another meaningful connection here with, an, uh, with another person, okay? So you are, they have probably realized you are the one for them. You are the only one that could fulfill them emotionally. They only saw happiness with you. Okay. But they might still be in their heads about this. They're not taking any action. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? The Ace of Pentacles, okay, so they want to start something new here, something stable, a brand new beginning, so they're thinking about a brand new beginning, okay, they're thinking about, when I see the healing card, for me, it's almost like, you know, a reconciliation card, is wanting to work things out, heal a connection, and then, you know, start something new, more stable, more long-term, Commitment. What message, please, for Virgo? What message for Virgo? The Knight of Swords. Okay, someone is thinking definitely about rushing towards you. Okay, it could be harsh communication. It's not going to be very emotional communication. Okay, but it doesn't mean that they don't have a lot of love for you. But it could be deal with a Gemini. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords? The Eight of Swords, yeah. I feel someone here is still in their heads about this, okay? With the Eight of Swords, talks about restriction. Feeling trapped, probably due to fears, okay? Maybe someone fears these harsh words, okay? They have a fear of rejection here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Ace of Swords. Okay, so again, another brand new beginning. This talks about communication. Someone definitely wants to commu communicate to you, okay? This is about having clarity, about, you know, talking about the truth, probably talking about the past, clearing things up. Okay, but someone has fears here to open up to you. I feel okay, they're stuck. They would really, really, I feel that they really want to talk to you, but they fear that you, you know, either you might reject them or you might say things to them that you know they might not like. They're afraid of your reaction, of your words. <clears throat> okay. What message for Virgo, please? What message for Virgo? The lovers. Okay, so could be dealing again with a Gemini. Strong Gemini here. So this is a strong connection with the lovers, okay? There's a, a, a connection that you feel, you know, a strong bond. That you feel that, you know, you both are in harmony. It's 
a soul connection. You could be spiritually connected with the, you know, the healing card and the lovers here. It's a connection that you are, you know, have difficulty moving on from, letting go. It also talks about making a choice here about this connection, okay? Because someone wants to heal things, okay? So this is your decision whether or not you do want to heal things as well with this person. Why is the lovers here, please? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The Six of Swords. So they want to come towards calmer waters with you, okay? They want to end the conflict here between you two. So if they come towards you, you know, they want for you to be receptive. They don't want conflicts. They don't want harsh words. <laughs> yeah, this person's afraid here of your reaction because they might have something to tell you. They might have to tell you the truth about what happened in the past and they fear your reaction, okay? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords? The Three of Pentacles, yes. Three of Pentacles. So this person here wants to, you know, compromise here with you. Want to Wants to meet you halfway. They, they really want to fix things. They want to work things out here with you. So they want for you to be really receptive. That's the like the message that I feel here. They really want... You know, they don't want drama. They don't want conflict. So this could be you as well. Okay. They want, you know, these new beginnings with you. But they still feel stuck because they don't know how you're going to react to them. Please, Spirit, what message for Virgo? What message for Virgo? The Four of Pentacles, security, okay. So someone here definitely, you know, they, they probably see stability here with you, okay. The Four of Pentacles are still holding on to you. They see you as someone stable. This person might also be working towards their stability before coming towards you, okay. Because they need to be stable before they can offer you any stability, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Five of Wands, conflict. Okay. Yeah, this person is really fearing conflict here with you. Definitely. They could also be holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be holding back as well because they fear conflicts here with the five of wands yeah definitely holding back in this eight of swords energy why is the five of wands here why is the five of wands here the knight of cups so cancer scorpio or pisces okay so it could be your person or you know you could have it in your chart but this king has a lot of love for you okay but they fear conflicts here they do not want conflicts they want for definitely for you you know to sort of rebuild this connection okay when the ace of swords comes out as well so if there needs to be clarity okay about a situation that happened in the past it could be that there are trust issues. So this person might also want to regain your trust, rebuild the trust here, okay? And now offer you something more stable. What message for Virgo, please? What message for Virgo? The Seven of Cups. Okay, so they're looking at all the possibilities here, okay? Probably to open up to you. How they can, you know, what it is that they're going to say to you. How they're going to reach out to you. So that you, you, you don't cut them off. Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? 
Why is the Seven of Cups? The Two of Swords. So being at a crossroads, right? What should I do or what should they do? Okay. Should I reach out or not? Okay. They're definitely thinking about that. Okay. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? The Two of Cups. Okay. So there's a lot of love here. And this Two of Cups is right under the King of Cups. So there's a lot of unconditional love here. And the love is mutual. Because, you know, we have... This is a very strong connection here. This person, you know, he could hold back. But I don't know if he's going to hold back for much longer here. What message for Virgo, please? What message for Virgo? The Eight of Pentacles. Yes, they definitely want to work things out. They want to put in the effort. Okay, it's right next to the Three of Pentacles. Putting in the effort. Probably, you know, wanting to reach that, you know, look, Nine of Pentacles. Wanting to reach that Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles. Loyalty. Okay. So this person wants to be loyal to you. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. It's someone who's more reliable. Okay. It's a slow moving offer. But once it gets there. Okay. It's very stable. So someone's working as well for their stability. I feel here. Okay. Before coming towards you, maybe it wasn't someone, you know, who was very stable in the past. Not putting in much effort into the connection. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Four of Swords, Recovery. Okay, so someone here I feel is going to rest. They're going to rest and meditate and think about the next steps, okay? With the Seven of Cups, thinking of all the possibilities to get back to this Two of Cups here with you, okay? This strong connection, because this person, they have a lot of love for you. This is unconditional love, okay? And I see that, you know, the love is mutual. So they might gain some energy, some courage, think about, you know, their things, how to approach you, okay? Look at all the possibilities here with the Seven of Cups. Because they're definitely at a crossroads here. They're definitely thinking about, you know, how to make things right. And, you know, how to come correct as well. Because if they do want to offer stability, it's because you are stable as well. They see you as someone stable. So they feel that that's what you deserve. Okay. And then... I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is coming, okay? Definitely. Definitely coming your way. Some stability. So, you know, it's your choice whether or not you accept this, whether or not you, you trust them. And please always do follow your intuition and your judgment. So, that's it, Virgo. So, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Bye.